Hey guys, it's Jada, and I'm here in my home kitchen in Los Angeles. Today, we're making bacon and Brussels sprout orecchiette. And you can make it even a day in advance, so it's great. Or in the morning, before Thanksgiving. So before we begin, I've got a couple things that I've already done. I've already started boiling my pasta water. I set up um, a sheet tray with parchment paper. I chopped one pound of bacon, and I've removed the leaves from the Brussels sprouts. So I have one pound of orecchiette, and this is what orecchiette looks like. See that? They're little ears in Italian. They have little ridges, and I think it's really fun because the sauce, the dressing we're gonna make, gets caught in the pasta, and it's also really easy to eat. So, here we go. One pound of orecchiette. And I've already salted my water, and I like to add a lot of salt because I like it, the water to be as salty as the sea. So it really starts to flavor the pasta. This is the first time that the pasta will have any flavor. So it's really important that you add plenty of salt. There we go. Okay, give it a little stir and we'll get the pasta cooking. Now, in the meantime, we're gonna start adding the bacon to the pan. I have one pound of bacon. Um, you could use panchita if you wanted to, or you could leave the bacon out if you know your family doesn't eat bacon. Bacon though, makes it, throws it over the top. Anyhow, you add the bacon. I chopped up the bacon. You're going to add it to the pan, and we're going to start crisping up the bacon. Okay, and that's going to take a few minutes. So in the meantime, let me show you how to peel the Brussels sprouts. So over here, I have a pound of Brussels sprouts. See? And they're the Brussels sprout leaves. And basically, I had Jade clean all the Brussels sprouts for me. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but it is something that you can do with your family, and everybody can kind of participate. What I do is I cut the end, the little, the little end of the Brussels sprout, and I just take all the leaves off, just like this. What we're also gonna do is blanch the leaves in the pasta water. One less thing, one less pan to clean up. So we're gonna cook the pasta first, and then dump these in the hot pasta water that already has all the flavor from the cooked pasta in it, um, and just cook them for about 30 seconds. And you know what I do with the, um, with the core, is I hold on to it and I just make stock out of it. So you can always put it in a, in a container and throw it in the freezer until you start making stock and then you can add the, this right into the stock. Leave it right there. And here's another one. So cut the end off and I toss the ends because they're usually dry and I just take the leaves right off. See? Just like that. Very easy to do. So you can get your kids to do it, grandkids to do it, the whole family can participate. And I think Brussels sprouts have had sort of a resurgence. People are really into Brussels sprouts. And when you toss them or um, combine them with bacon, then no one says no to Brussels sprouts. And to me, they're very holiday Thanksgiving. Okay, so we've got that. Now, let's add that to our group right here. I mean, this, maybe the strainer was a little bit small. There we go. And let's take a look at our bacon. Just trying to separate the bacon a little bit. There we go. You can always make the bacon in advance if you want to. A couple minutes after you add the pasta into the hot water, give it another stir. There we go. So while the pasta cooks and the bacon is browning, let's make our dressing. So this pasta does not have a red sauce or a cream sauce. It has like a vinaigrette type of thing. I'm starting my dressing with three quarters of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And to it, we're gonna add two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. And you could also use grain mustard if you prefer. The Dijon works, I think, better with the um, Brussels sprouts. We need a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. Nice, fresh flavor. That's why I like the apple cider vinegar. It's really clean and it works really well with the Brussels sprouts. A little bit of salt. We're gonna whisk this together. And you see how you get a nice vinaigrette? Super easy and creamy too. Just kind of whisk it. I basically make the, the vinaigrette in the bowl that I'm gonna toss and serve the pasta in. That way, again, one less bowl to clean. And I'm telling you, during the holidays, actually anytime, I'm always looking to minimize the amount of pots, pans, and bowls that I'm cleaning. Okay, so that's done. Now, we're gonna add to it Parmigiano Reggiano. Why not? Okay, so what I want to do is just basically grate one cup of Parmigiano. 
And of course you can buy it pre-graded if you want to. But I happen to just have it, a block of it, so. And a lot of times I will grate my own Parmesan cheese. It's sort of just, you know, I think um, it retains the integrity of the flavor of the Parmesan, but I understand that a lot of people, you know, time is limited, so it's much easier to buy it. There we go. And remember to hold on to the rind and put it in the freezer for soups, stews, stocks, broths, whatever you want. But don't throw away this rind. It is precious. Okay, so we've got one cup of the parmigiano. We just kind of whisk it all in there. See, nice and creamy. This dressing not only is great for this, but you can also do it over um, salad as well, or a rice salad or anything. Sort of, sort of an all-purpose dressing. Okay, that's it. Dressing is done. We can set this aside until the pasta is ready. Let's take a look at our pasta and our bacon. Bacon is coming along, starting to crisp up. There we go. Let's look at our pasta. I have a sheet pan that I lined with some parchment paper because, oh, pasta's ready. And we're gonna let it cool on this baking sheet. And then that way, when it's slightly cooled, we'll add it to the dressing along with the Brussels sprouts. But we gotta get this out so that we can um, put the Brussels sprouts in that water. You like my big old spider? It gets a lot of pasta all in one swoop. And remember, the pasta's still cooking. Even though it's not in the water anymore and it's cooling, it's still cooking. You don't want to overcook it, which is also why I like this big spider because I'm not fishing forever, especially with the small pastas. There we go. Okay, now. Time to add the Brussels sprouts. Here are my glorious Brussels sprouts. We're gonna take them and we're gonna just dump them right into pasta water. It's a two and one. There we go. And we just kind of wanna leave them in the water for about 30 seconds just to kind of slowly soften them a little bit, but not to overcook them. You can start to see their color changes also. It gets nice and bright green. I always take it out al dente, and then it finishes cooking. Mm, nice and salty. So I don't have to add too much salt to my dressing. Okay. And now we take the Brussels sprouts out. There we go. Pretty, right? And it still retains a little bit of its bite, a little bit of like a little crunch. And again, remember the Brussels sprouts continue to cook because they're still hot. So we have all of our ingredients. We've got the pasta, we've got the Brussels sprouts, we have the bacon and the pomegranates, and we have our dressing. So let me grab some wooden spoons. We're gonna to toss this all together. And toss the pasta into the dressing. There we go. And we can also do the Brussels sprouts. Look at that. Good thing there's not much else to add to this. And then you just toss it and you can hear how creamy it is. Can you hear it? It's my favorite part. Because you see the heat of the pasta and the Brussels sprouts is melting the Parmesan cheese that's in the dressing. So that's why it becomes like this. It smells so good. And what I want to do is the reason I keep tossing it is because I want all the pasta and all the Brussels sprouts to really absorb the dressing. Now, 
we're going to add the bacon. There we go, so you can see it. And we're also going to add the pomegranates. And you toss it all together. Now, does that not look like the best pasta salad or what? You can make it in advance, right? Number one. Number two, it has all the colors of the holiday. Number three, it's scrumptious. There we go. Toss it all together. Now, before I add any more cheese or any more salt, I want to taste it first. Because if I add too much salt, I already seasoned it with a lot of um, salt in the pasta water. And I have bacon in here and Parmesan cheese, all things that are salty. So I just want to make sure that it's perfectly seasoned before I add any more salt. Mm -mm. It is glorious. Mm. It's got the tang from the apple cider vinegar and it's creamy from all that parm and mustard. Honestly, it's divine. At this point, you can let this cool at room temperature for about an hour. So just set it at room temperature and leave it alone. Or you can always pop it in the fridge, eat it later or the next day. But the longer it sits, the more it marinates and that's what makes this divine. Thanks for joining me, you guys.